Fox, welcome back to the channel. Doug with Stacking Investments here. Oh, what do I want to do? The mail call or the deal I walked in on today? I guess I'll get the silver part out of the way and the coins. I walked in. A family had just dumped. I guess the uh, gentleman passed away and the family just dumped his entire collection at an LCS and this is something you need to think about with your stack is uh, you know because this is also not only protecting our wealth but this is uh, generational wealth too being you know to pass down but the family dumped it all I have no idea if they had bills to pay whatever is the reason why they dumped it but I got some fantastic deals I was able to get my pick of the litter on half dollars at 17 and a half times face. I went through probably 250, 300 face of halves and I pretty much got pick of the litter. I got some fantastic stuff. I have, uh, with our recent uh, drop in silver prices, uh, and this might be something that you're going to see in your, you know, I'm seeing it in my area, so you might be seeing it in your area, but the buy prices and overall prices are coming down. Premiums are coming down. I don't know what's, I can't say what's going on, what's causing it, but it's, uh, you know, what I'm seeing, the prices are coming down. Uh, also, I don't know if I'm getting a special deal because of, uh, my relationship with my LCS, whatever, but I got the pick of the litter. We'll start right here. I picked up some peace dollars. They had a bunch of uh, Morgan 21s, uh, all conditioned from like MS62 all the way down to calls. They had, uh, that was in the Morgans, they were all 21s. And then when they got to the peace dollars, it was 22s, 23s and a few others and I picked up some harder to get dates and mint marks got the 25 that's a Philly another 25 Philly another 25 come on camera another 25 is that a Philly yes. get the loop out Yep, another 25 Philly. 25. I found a few of these here recently. <clears throat> these 25s are harder to find in the in the wild. And then I picked up a 26, which is kind of tough to to find. So the Philly also. Nope. That one's, uh, that one's a Denver. So I got a 26 Denver. Got these at a really good price. Uh, the rest of it, like I said, was 22s and 23s. Um, again, ranging from like a MS62 all the way back, or maybe a 60, MS61 all the way back to, to uh, lower grades. But I picked these up. Got this little baggie right here. They held back for me to look at. I got three standing liberties. Oh, come on, camera. Come on. Come on, work with me here. Work with me. Now, let's go with the loop. 28D. Twenty-seven Philly. And a twenty-six Philly. So I got those. I got three barbers. I gotta check my album on these barbers. I've got three of these. They had a few more, but they didn't meet my minimum standard. 
so. 06. And 07. <coughs> and another 07. This one looks pretty good. So, I got these that, uh, the 17 in it. All this for 17. All the silver, except the piece dollars. But I got it 20, 27 times face, or seven, I'm sorry, not 27, 17 and a half times face. Got some dimes. They, uh, met my minimum standard for for what I'm willing to stack and what my buyers at the market are looking for when I take them out to sell. Oh, my camera's jumping around. But I have to check the barber stuff with my albums and then I'll probably take that out to the market and put it with the tubes of the other stuff I have. Let's look at something. I got um, two of these sets. I know they've been replated, but a 43 steel cent. Uh, two of these. One of them sold already. So, but just pretty cool. These were probably sold, replated, packaged up like this, and probably sold for ten, fifteen, ninety, ten, ten, nine ninety nine, twelve ninety nine, fifteen ninety nine, or something like that. I got two of them, really cheap. Like I said, one of them sold. The one with the little tag there sold. So I'm gonna pull that one out. This one I'll be taking up the pickings with me. Got a really cool. 64 set. This is not a proof set. But it's in this uh, card here. And it is from Carolina Federal. So this is pretty cool. There's people that collect these odd, like these holders, especially when they're advertising pieces for banks and stuff. Got this at 17 and a half times face, just for the silver. So, pretty neat piece. Take that out to the market. <clears throat> I did get some proof sets. One of these has two in it. I think it's this one. <clears throat> so, 63. this up. I had to pay I had to pay more than uh, <clears throat> more than the 1750 I've been selling I'm starting to run out of proof sets so it's nice to add a few the one not in a envelopes of 61 so I got this I passed on a whole stack of 64s and then I have one that is supposedly sealed, but these things were never sealed from the mint. What we got here is this another 63. Be very when you buy these things supposedly sealed and never open because it's so easy to get them open and reseal them. I don't trust any listing or anybody that anybody that says they got sealed, never opened proof set. Take that with a grain of salt and throw the salt over your shoulder. I got a little bit of toning on the quarter there. Truly, the way you're going to get these unsearched is if you buy the mint, the mint put these out in boxes of five, 
10, 25, 50, and I think they went higher than that, but it's a blue box with all the tape seals and everything around it. The only way you're truly gonna get these on search is if you find those boxes that have never been opened. <clears throat> and you'll know if one of those was been opened, but buying these, supposedly sealed, never opened, it's, you know, that's a farce um, in itself. Uh, now we can get into the tubes of stuff and I had a field day going through this and I felt bad because the family was dumping this and the guy had it kind of organized when I found these they were like all grouped together but I basically got two tubes of I didn't even look at the mint marks I saw 48 or 49, I threw it off to the side, but I was finding them, you know, stacks like that, a stack like that, and I'd go along in some stuff and find another bunch of five or six of them together. So the man, when he was putting it away, he was putting away the, he was putting away the semi key, the key dates and the semi key dates. So there's 48, 49. I've got to go through these. Um, I'm going to keep a tube of 48 and a 49 in my stack, and then I'm going to... Well, I, I may wind up keeping all these 48s and 49s. <clears throat> if I do anything, I'll, I'll charge a premium for these, and I'll have like all 49s in a tube or all 48s in a tube. I think I got mostly 49s. But the man was putting away, he was putting away the better dates as far as these uh, Franklins go. The better dates, the semi keys. <clears throat> and you ain't gonna believe what I, what's in the other tubes of stuff. 48, 48, I'm not even looking at the mint mark, I'll do that later. 49. This whole tube's nothing but 48s and 49s. 49. 48. And surprisingly, well, I looked through my stack and I'm out of, I, I only have a few 48s and I'm fixing to work on some album collections, so I gotta pick out the better ones. But this whole tube, that's the 48s. Haven't looked at the mint mark yet. Let's see, where were they at? That's the 48, and that's the 49s. Like I said, I'll look at mint marks later. So I got a $10 roll of those. What do we got? No, oh, no, oh, hold that one out for a second. Right, here we go. This is the other one. 49, 49. 49. I did kick a few back that had dings or scratches in them or they were severely slicked. I think I kicked out of what I was purchasing. I kicked out five or six of these. 48. 49. So I hand selected all these coins. 49. And this just goes to show you can find this stuff in the junk bins. Um, you know, to me, to me, this was a major score. 48, 48. This was a, this was a very nice find. I wanted to buy more stuff, but you know, there's the old saying, there, there's not enough, there's just not enough money to buy all the deals that you can run across. All right, so a little shy on the 48s. have more 49s. I'll turn those over since I got them separated so I don't have to do this again. So that was two, so I got two tubes of 48s and 49s. <clears throat> then the best part, <clears throat> and this is why I say that 
I felt bad because the the gentleman who was saving this stuff, he knew what he was doing. Now, if you follow me when I do all my when I've done all my uh, Franklin album, um, when I'm filling the spots in albums, I'm fixing to start my 16th and 17th or 17th and 18th album, and then I'll probably do a couple more. I always wind up with 51, 52, 53, 54, all S's, and then I'm missing the 55 and the 56. Those are always the ones that, when I'm building the collection, doing the album, I usually want to, there's a couple of those S ones, the 51 through 54, there's always one or two of those that I got to hunt down and it takes me forever to find, but it's like I hit the jackpot, 52, S, these are all S's, 52, I'm not going to show you the reverse, these are all S's, 52, 52, 52, so I'm set up for I won't have to track these. There's 51. And just to show you, it is an S. I can randomly get the loop out. It's an S right there, 51. <clears throat> There's a 53. So since we're on 53, that is an S. But it's like I hit the jackpot on this. And it's all because whoever this gentleman was. He knew what he was doing, and he was stacking. There's a 54. It's going to be an S. Get the loop out to show you. That's an S. This gentleman knew what he was doing, and he was putting away the harder to find. What was that? A 52. I found more 52s, I guess, than anything. That's a 53. Yeah. 53, 53, 54, so when I'm going through the jump in, anytime I find a 51 through 54 S, when I'm going through the jump in, that's an automatic buy, same with the 48s and 49s, those are always, always an automatic buy for me, 52, just because in my area it's so hard to find there's a 54 and a 52 and just to show you the last one it's going to be an s this whole roll is s's so i got two 51s I got a whole stack of 52 s i can't tell you how many time how many weeks i'd go searching coin shops going through the junk bin just to find one <clears throat> i got five 53s and i got three 54s I mean, any of these. I get my album collections, and sometimes I'd be a couple of weeks before before I would run into run into and get lucky enough to find one. So I'm flipping those back and forth, so when I go through the tube, I don't have to re re sort them out. Okay, there's that. So this was. This was a gold mine find for me right here. Find the nose. And then we move on. Let's see. Both of these got some Franklins. I got more Franklins in here. I went through a whole slew of walkers. And this gentleman was doing this, kind of the same thing I'm doing. He's putting away the 20s. He's putting away... The full date 18s. 18. And then I just picked out some some better, some of the better, nicer condition walkers. Dale, I didn't find anything for you there, buddy. Uh, not in this haul, but I am still looking. Uh, by the way, I've probably already emailed you. I got your package out, so check your email if you haven't. Uh, here we're back to some S's. Uh, 54, 54, oh, 49, there's another 49. Um, there's a 
51, and I'll show you a couple of these in a minute. 54. 54. 51. Yeah, I hit the jackpot on getting getting these. Uh, 53. 53. 53. And you won't believe what else I found. And what is this? This is another full date 18. And what is this? 54. That's an S. It's going to be an S. The only thing I bought was S's. Here's that 54 stack. I'll spread out a few of them here and we'll put the loop on it. Show you that they're all S's. I think I just walked in. I got lucky and come on. There's an S, an S, and an S. These were all S's. I already showed you that one. Then these two 51s, or no, 53s. I'll show you those. S and S. And then the two, two 51s. S and an S. They're just, for me, they're, for me, these are harder to find. <coughs> so that goes with those. So I got like a tube and a half. Oh, oh. Dang it. I got a tube and a half of the <clears throat> a tube and a half of the hard to find San Francisco dates. At least for me. That's for me. I don't know how it is for you. Alright, let's do that. Let's uh let's see pull those out, put these back in. Like I said, I went through and I picked out, I hand selected, and I picked out some of the nicer, the nicer walkers. 29 or 29s through the 40, 47, 37. I tried to get, I tried to hand select and get the nicer coins. 41, 41. A lot of it, uh, he had them sorted. A lot of it was already sorted by dates. I figured the mix-up in dates was when they were going through spot checking. So, like they broke open a, they opened a paper roll, dumped them out, checked to make sure they were all silver, and putting them back in the in the wrapper, or back in the tubes. They mixed them up a little bit. But a lot of times you'd run across, four, you'd see 42, and then there'd be like five or six coins in a row that were 42. Like I said, sorry, Dale, there's um, nothing you need was in this. I couldn't find anything you needed. And I looked. Uh, but anyway, and I mean, they're, you know, for the being circulated, they're not too bad. Tube. And I said I was just getting trying to pick out the nicer quality. <clears throat> my clients at the my following at the flea market, they appreciate it when I bring out nice coins and instead of the slicked up, dinged up uh, stuff that you find them to jump in a lot of times. I've got a couple more Benjis in here. Uh, what is that? Uh, look at that nice 1917. Look at that. That's a good find right there. That one's nice. Dang, look 
look how nice that is. So say I was hand selecting this stuff. And uh, trying my best. It's nice when you can sit and hand select. Okay, I'm at the end here for the walker. Is that another 17? It's not a nice looking 17. Yep, 17. Dang. I gotta check my album on a couple of these. Then there was a single barber, 1913. Denver, barber half, not too bad. Picked it up. So I'll put that with the barber stuff. And then to get to icing on the cake for Franklin. And you've heard me talk when I when I'm doing my albums. When I'm doing the albums, I have a hard time 55 and 56. Mostly when I'm doing my my uh, circulated sets. I have a hard time finding 55s and 56s. Uh, I hit the jackpot. 55, 55, 55, 56, 56, 56, 56, 56, 56. Like I said, this gentleman knew what he was doing. He was uh, 56. 56 was always harder to find for me than a 55, even though 55 is the minute key date. 56. 56. 56. 56. 56. So my problem of finding some circulated 55s and circulated 56s has pretty much this will keep me in stock for a while putting my sets together along with those 51 through uh, 54 S's that will keep me busy Which one are you? this right here will keep me stocked for doing my sets these, these will not go to the market these will stay in my <coughs> If nothing else, they stay in my stock because I know how hard, again, in my area, how hard these are to get. But that's what I got for you. <clears throat> uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Are you seeing a price drop in your area on Constitutional or are the prices staying high? Um, dang, I hate when... Sorry my videos go a little long, but man, I got a lot of stuff to show you. I figured I'd show you a lot of the dates and and what I got <clears throat> but here again everything that I struggle to look for doing my Franklin sets and I just found a whole pile of it in a in a collection that got dumped off because the family didn't want to hang on to it and it's a shame but let me know your thoughts down below I'll see you in another video